Hello everyone and welcome to episode 32 of this Let's Play a series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters and we are just about to get stuck into the Romulan mystery. It's a new story arc, so we're going to get the first mission. Basically, Pick up it's... Damar Khan on Starbase 114 and bring him to Starbase 39 Sierra. Starbase 114 is located in the Celis system in the Beta Quadrant. So yeah, it's basically go here, talk to NPC, and then you know it unlocks um, the rest of the mission. So here, pick this dude up. Great. Server not responding. Actually, it just might be building the instance. So I'd say, yeah, we're not going to get a disconnect. Whenever you see the loading going this slow... Uh, the server is basically building the instance or building the map and uh, you'll see it shoot up to like 30 and then 40 and it'll slow down a bit and then it'll jump up to like 80 and 90 um, so yeah that's what that's what it's doing it's just building the instance uh, so you may get a server not responding an SNR during that there's the 30 40 so yeah pretty much done Okay, so if we're going over here. We're going to pick up this guy. We can close uh, chat because you lose IQ points when you're uh, in zone chat, at the very least. Beam down to station. Same thing again, building the instance. This is great TV, folks, isn't it? Just sitting here watching the numbers tick by while we're waiting for the instance to build. I'm gonna go crazy. Okay, so we head over here to this dude. Um, scroll down, are you ready to go? Beam to ship. Okay, so we're going up here to Starbase 39 or Sierra. And it looks like we've got some DOF missions complete. So let's uh, turn those in. And we'll set up some new ones. the border into a new sector block so there was a new batch of them that opened up for us okay oh another one complete ah crap resettle colonists really wow I did not think that one would fail crap and we have 29 minutes until the next one completes roger roger uh, we're nearly there. Let's have a look. How many skill points have we built up? Only six. Yeah. No point in spending those yet. Whoa! Traits are... All the traits are gone. <coughs> Man. Oh, crap. Let's see if I can quickly remember these. Most hit points. It's going to, uh, yeah, uh, grenades, range, weapon, conspiracy, crit chance, resistance to hold, physical damage, knockback. Uh, uh, yeah. 
Okay, right, we can't find any more there. Um, accurate. Uh, okay, we can stop there. Uh, Starship Project, no. Uh, critical hits, no. No. Yep. Yep. Uh, hit points, cannon. Increased damage based on team size. Kinetic, no. Threat, no. Yes. Okay. And I'll tell you what we're going to do this time. We are going to save this to a slot. Um, so, PV will do. Um, and hopefully, I, I can't remember if um, uh, traits are uh, part of that system or not. So basically, uh, what you can do is you can save different loadouts for your ship. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's, um, you just select the loadout and it will change uh, to whatever it's meant to be. At least that's how it's meant to work. Beam down to station. Now, while I'm here, I really should try and find a 50% vendor, and I'm pretty sure there is one. Here, is that a security officer? Yeah, it is a security officer. Note for future reference. Uh, because my inventory is full. Um, now, Barman usually are 50% vendors. Not always, but usually. Um, well, this is the guy we have to talk to. I'll speak to Damar. Okay, uh, so that's that mission done, heading out. Now let's uh, talk to this guy, see if he is a 50% vendor. Probably not. <coughs> so, 288. Nope, he's definitely not. Uh, let's try this vendor. Yes, so it should be 480. Yep, we found our 50% vendor. Okay, um, let's sort this junk. And start selling. So you can see this. Uh, there can be a big difference um, between which vendors you actually go to. Um, and trust me, it does add up in the long run. Big time. It really, really does. Oh, we got a lot of plasma stuff. And uh, right, uh, sort that and take all of this. And what can I sell? Uh, I definitely do want to sell the warp core. Oh wait, no, I do want to sell a warp core. I want to sell the one that's currently on my ship, which is going to give me zero. Get in there. There we go. Christ, server lag. Um, sell. Scroll down. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be a zero. Okay, and these can discard. And discard. Emperor Sila. Uh, so this is our next mission. So we'll accept that. Um, I'm going to look for bank. Bank, 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 bank. Uh, Federation Bank. Here we go. Bank. Uh, you can go in there. You can go in. You can go in. You can go in. All those can go in. Um, you can go in. And I suppose these guys can go in as well. There. Freed up some space. Okay. Uh, let's beam up to ship. We're going to... I didn't catch the name of the system. We'll see how far away it is.
be careful of that when you beam up to your ship, not to uh, hit F straight away and beam back down. I can't tell you how many times I got caught like that. Um, happened to me quite quite a few times because um, I was too hasty. All right, uh, so this is where we're going. The Agrama system, Agrama, and yeah, so. Let's put these in here. Um, right, so uh, actually, um, data recorder, I could put you there. Um, where is, there we go, I want that there. Um, so this here is actually this item. And this is a Nimbus Pirate's Distress Call. And when you're in battle, in space, you can activate that ability. It's basically an ability. You click on it, and it will bring in um, a team of uh, Nimbus Pirates. So you can see the description says, Signal for a strike team of three Nimbus Pirate vessels to assist you in combat for 35 seconds. Uh, cannot use this while piloting a small craft. So only when you're in a normal starship. Uh, and they will actually attack um, whatever enemies are in the area. And some of the ships can actually heal you. Uh, not fully heal you, uh, but they will cast some heals on you. Um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to get that down there. Uh, the other thing I want to check is... Subs there we go. This bad boy. Uh, oh, he's already there. Never mind. Um, that's okay. I should have put those weapon batteries in here. Oh well. Um, we're not doing too bad. Okay, we're coming up on the system now. Begin Empress Sila. and welcome to Agrama. I am pleased that Starfleet sent such a notable officer as its representative at this conference. Please enter a standard orbit and transport down to these coordinates. This meeting may mark the beginning of a new day for the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. Okay, so let's kick into full impulse and we'll uh, assume a standard orbit. Beam down with our away team. And there she is, Empress Sila. The rest of the delegates are already in the conference room. My aide, Jevam, will take you there. I have some business to attend to before we begin. I wasn't sure if I was going the right way or not. I thought the Federation's alliance with the Romulan Republic would be the end of any meaningful dialogues with Empress Sila. After all, she considers the Republic to be a terrorist organization. She may have an ulterior motive for inviting us here, but we had to take the chance that Sila's offer to negotiate is sincere and act in kind. The Federation must pursue every avenue for peace. The Romulans can be so difficult to deal with, especially these Imperials. They are forever setting traps, twisting words, and jockeying for advantage. Even a conference with the Klingons would be preferable. At least you know where you stand with Klingons. I'm reminded of a line I read once in an ancient Earth text. Hide a knife behind a smile. Every smile here hides a knife. We are so pleased that you were able to attend our conference. The Empire was quite dismayed at your decision to support the terrorist insurgents rather than the rightful government. 
the Romulan people. So much for your vaunted prime directive. In any case, neither of us benefit from extended conflict. So, despite your questionable alliances, we are choosing to open negotiations in hopes of normalizing relations between the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. Okay, so let's move over to this group and see what they have to say. It is agreeable to meet with you. You have my people's enduring gratitude for how you handled that matter with Ambassador Soket. This is another trying time for Vulcan. The Romulan Star Empire blames the Vulcan Science Academy for the Hobus supernova that destroyed their world. They are utterly intransigent in this misguided belief, despite the fact that Ambassador Spock warned them of the danger and ultimately gave his life to stop the loss of even more worlds. Romulans are a most illogical people. Sometimes I find it hard to believe we were once a single species. Welcome to Agrama. Isn't this a lovely facility? You must tour the atrium later. Hard to believe this system was infested by Orion pirates not long ago. You know, some of my colleagues were against this meeting, but I lobbied for it. I said the entire Federation cannot be as blind as the people who were at the farce at Kittimer. If you just see the problems the Romulan Republic are causing, I'm sure you can persuade your government to reconsider their rash choice and sever their agreements with these rebels. I am so pleased to see the Federation recognize and attempt to rectify its past mistakes. I knew that a people as clever as yours would realize eventually that it is folly to antagonize the Romulan Star Empire. I am also confident it will only be a matter of time before you realize that you have made a grievous error by allying yourselves with terrorists, scoundrels, and thieves. The sooner you renounce your poorly considered alliance with the so-called Romulan Republic, the sooner we will be able to come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Okay. Um... So, we have to wait for our next objective. I apologize for the interruption. My name is Toka. I am one of the stewards here. We've had a slight complication with the dietary requirements of some of your delegation. Could I borrow you for a moment so we can clear this up? <clears throat> so... Some of the things that uh, those uh, delegates were talking about, um, you wouldn't pick up unless you played the uh, Romulan story. Um, so if you play as a Romulan, there's uh, parts of the story that you'll pick up there and you'll be like, ah, right, okay, that's what they were talking about. Franklin Drake says you can be trusted, and that is enough for me. There's more going on here than a diplomatic conference. Sela has no interest in courting the Federation. So why is she suddenly doing so now? We're going to find out what she's up to. The lower level of this facility is off limits to everyone but the Empress and her aides. But that access hatch right over there opens up to a maintenance tunnel that leads down. The doorway is guarded. So while I distract the guards, you sneak through the door. So this is the door we're going to go through. We have to wait for him to uh, distract the guards. Dumbasses. The hatch is just ahead in the northeast corner of the room. There will be a security room near the exit of the maintenance tunnel on the level below us. Access one of the consoles there. Maybe you'll learn more about what she's doing. I need to get back to the reception before I'm missed. But I should be able to cover your absence for a few minutes. More than that, then you're on your own. Okay. So 
looks like we're taking a left in here. And we're going to interact with this console. playback of file 2895 Gamma. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. Twenty-one years ago, the star of the Hoba system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. Computer end file. I cannot suffer more of that arrogant fool. Soon Vulcan will suffer the same fate as my world. Uh, this one communication channels. I have Hakeem, Empress. Patch him through. Greetings, Empress. My fleet has launched for Vulcan. I expect you to rendezvous with us there. Alas, I must disappoint you. The terrorist cells of the Romulan Republic demand my full attention. And with Taurus missing... Spare me your excuses, Hakeem. Nothing is more important than avenging the destruction of our home world. You disappoint me, Hakeem. I trust you will not do so again. Okay, all right, so we can exit that system, and we can go back out the door, take a left, and then we're taking a right. We have to plant some uh, charges to blow this shit up. Third and final one. Kaboom. I should have known the Federation would send spies instead of diplomats. And you call us treacherous. No matter. You may have destroyed these weapons, but my fleet is already en route to Vulcan. You cannot stop what has begun. Guards! Capture the intruders! Alrighty. Oh great, the server not responding. What is going on with my internet today? Whatever you did down there, it made quite an impression. Good work on disabling the transport in you. Your ambassadors are safely back on their ships, but I had to blow my cover to get them there. Now it's time for me to get out while I still can. Farewell. Yeah, just beam up. Ship is under attack. All 
Alright, so we got some satellites to destroy. Boom. Looks like he's using tack team as well. Or at least he was. I'm sorry about this guys, seems to be a little bit of rubber banding going on. I think this is probably the last video I'll do for today. Um, I thought we'd never be free of that blasted field. I'm gonna recommend you get a commendation. Starfleet of Invasion. Right, so I guess we have to wait for Red Alert to finish. I had not expected to hear from you so soon. Was your mission successful? I should have expected as much. You cannot trust them. I never do. I am contacting all available ships. We will meet you there. Okay, so we're on our way to Vulcan. Thankfully, we don't actually have to travel uh, across sector space or quadrant space. We just bring Thanks it straight to, to Vulcan. Thanks to your warning, we were able to divert some ships to defend Vulcan. Alright, so this episode is going on a little bit long. Uh, longer than normal, so I'm going to con just continue skipping the dialogue from here on in. Uh, How can you fight what you cannot see? Surrender now, and I may give you a merciful death. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Our Tachyon detection grid has revealed scout ships attempting to penetrate the perimeter. There we go. They 
A little bit closer. She'll be able to knock him out. Your attempts to interfere yeah. are meaningless. Vulcan must pay for its crimes. Let's replace one of these. I'm not high enough rank, really. Wow. Uh, that's a captain level item. Um, Alright. When we get promoted to captain, we'll use it. Yep, this is definitely going to be the last episode that I do today. Yeesh, look how many is there right now. Reinforcements are on route. Hold the line. I'll follow your lead.
Okay, let's uh, let's finish these guys off. Hmm, there must be about a dozen ships there. Uh, there's some torpedoes though as well. Cemetery. Let's get this last D Deridex. Heal up a little bit as well. Oh, there's the D Deridex. How close are you? Ah. Uh, couldn't be too bad. Uh, over 50%. Answer hail from Sila. Okay. You may have won this day, but the fight will continue. Romulus will be avenged. There will be blood for blood, death for death. My world is gone. I will not rest until Vulcan suffers the same fate. Indeed. Then why does Starfleet use ships equipped with weapons of mass destruction? Why did the Vulcan Science Council willfully refuse to assist us when there was a chance to save our world? Every sorrow in my life can be laid at the feet of the Federation. Scan debris. Where is the debris? Uh, ah, there it is. Mission complete. Finally. Okay, so let's uh, leave the system. Hail Starfleet. And uh, let's see, what do we have? Uh, so, career specific, rare mark, six kit. Um, yeah, I think uh, I'll go with the kit. Congratulations, Captain. We're level 30. Excellent. And we have our promotion to Captain. Um, I'm not sure if we'll do that next. You've proven yourself to be invaluable to Starfleet and earn the respect of your fellow officers. Return to Earth Space Dock. I would like to formally recognize your contributions to the Federation. 
I'm not sure if we'll do that next or if we'll uh, do another story mission. But anyway, uh, thanks a million for watching, folks. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and comment, and as always, subscribe to the channel. My name is Winters. Until next time, take care. Adios.